Let's make this mission into a multiplayer mission, a team deathmatch, uh, dogfight multiplayer mission. Um, let's see, what do we need to do here? First we need to save it as a different mission type. Over here we see the mission type, it's not single. Let's change that to deathmatch. Click on file, save as, and save it in the appropriate folder which is multiplayer dogfight I'll give it a new name my first MP mission save now some things you need to uh, to change here we have created a player aircraft the new port or this pad we can now delete it because in multiplayer dogfight mode games this is not used but instead the airfield can be uh, configured to have several aircraft okay how do we do that first we have to get to this airfield and it's tucked away in the group called scenery so go here right click set group as working and I can now see the air airfield I click on it and I say create linked entity. Now the airfield has become an entity and it's got several more um, parameters we can configure. Double click. We can define the country and I said it was France and let's say OK. Now if you look here on the left there's a button for planes. We click on this we can now tell uh, what aircraft can be flown from this airfield. So I'm going to add the SPAD 13. Let's say there are four aircraft available. You can type a name here. You can also choose a skin or a default payload. It's quite useful because if you use a payload here without bombs the, and the server can set the uh, can lock this payload so no one can choose bombs. And then renew time when all the planes have been destroyed it will take some time before they get uh, replenished ok and it's quite easy to make more using the clone button let's say we want some uh, new ports as well double click I see there is no payload ok and OK. So now if we start this mission on a multiplayer server then people can choose aircraft from this from this airfield. Of course we need also to do that for the other side. So let's go here create linked entity. Let's make this Germany and add some aircraft. I'll just choose some like so. Okay. So now we have two airfields where people can can take off from. Now we need to define the the borders, the um, what is enemy territory and what is friendly territory. First let's close this group again. So I go here, right click, set group as working and we're on the top level. Okay, this is the complete map. Now here we have a command I think, with translator, influence area. Here's the one. Click and click again here and we can define what country uh, belongs to the, in this case, to the German side. Now we already see a small triangle but we have to make this bigger because we want to be half of this map we want to be German. Okay, right click once it's selected and go to selected object menu and go here, edit influence area boundary. Now we can select the points 
of this polygon by double clicking it and we can drag it and make it bigger so I'll do a very simple one now we want to add some more points because we don't want to try and with something like a re rectangle you can use control and left click to add more points okay double click my selecting control click to add more points let's say we have a this is the, the boundary okay right click and stop editing boundary. Now we can do the same for the allied side. Now I already double clicked so of course we need to, to tell which side this is. This is France. This one was German. Germany. Edit influence area boundary and drag the points Okay, now we have to line this up. I have to add some points here. Control, left click, add. We'll add points. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's not the right side of the of the point. If you have a point selected, you can press delete to delete it. I have to select this one first, and then hit Control, left mouse. So this is very roughly how the two areas are to be defined. Right click and stop editing boundary. Okay, now we have two sides, French side and a German side. We have two airfields, a French airfield with some planes defined and a German airfield. We also have we still have the AI. They will just uh, take off and fly along their paths, and yeah, all the other stuff uh, should work as well. Now, one more thing is the countries button we noticed earlier over here. I just left clicked anywhere to get out of this to deselect the current uh, object. In the mission properties here's countries. If you see a list of all the possible countries you can you can use in such a uh, multiplayer game. Now we only use two, so we want to keep the scoreboard simple, and we do that by assigning all the other countries to to neutral. So we've got here future powers. Double click, neutral, the courses, neutral, knights, oh. neutral. So, so now we only have allies and central powers and the rest is neutral and won't be shown in the game. Okay, that's it.